Interesting question I had, or I saw online. What is the most exciting thing about Modern Warfare 2? I hear people, you know, there's, you know, the campaign, which campaign was really good. Warzone 2 is coming out actually in November, so a, a month after release, which was actually, it's oh, way that was sooner confirmed? than... Yeah, it's like, Word. I think November 16th. And then there's a new DMZ mode, kind of like Tarkov, which I'm kind of, I'm actually really interested in seeing the way they approach it, because it's, I don't think it's going to be even, the, like, I don't think it's going to be as close to Tarkov as people think, because Call of Duty is like a way different experience and pace. Oh, yeah. So I kind of expect it to be like, you know, like realism mode in this game? I don't think I've ever played it. I think it's going to be like realism mixed with Warzone almost. Maybe as, as far as like how scale, like the big scale map. Oh, so it's kind of like those, but, the big scale maps in Cold War. Kind of like the fire team ones or whatever those were. Yeah, I think it's going to be something like that or something as big as a Warzone map, but with realism. And I think the looting system is going to be overhauled. I don't know if they're going to do it like Tarkov to where like if, like when you get the guns and the attachments and everything and the inventories, like you actually keep those guns. It's like this accumulating arsenal of weapons that you get to take in and like continuously do quests and all these other missions that just kind of make you more powerful. But the catch is whatever you bring in to the match, if you die, you lose all that stuff. Oh. So I don't know if you played Vigor. That's oh, kind of the same yeah, I played deal. Vigor. I did not like that that much. So I might not like yeah. the new DMZ mode, but I'll try it. I'll give it a shot. Yeah, I th I'm just kind of interested to see their spin on it. With the Call of Duty gameplay, that would probably be a lot better, I think. Yeah, then you have Infinity Ward's engine. I mean, it looks very similar, but I think it's slightly uh, remastered in a way. Like, it, it just looks a little better than this game. Was the original Modern Warfare's campaign the same as this one? Oh, no. I mean, it, yeah, it makes sense why you think that, because it's just called Modern Warfare, but it's kind of like a remake, so it's completely different. I think the time period might be set slightly before when the original Modern Warfare would have taken place, but they're also not connected whatsoever. Oh, so it's kind of like God of War, like how they rebooted it. It's kind of like a rebooted campaign in a way. Yeah, so it's like same characters and everything, not the same events that happened in the uh, Modern Warfare trilogy. That's actually kind of cool. That makes me want to play the Modern Warfare and the Modern Warfare 2 campaign and then go back and play the original ones and then play 3. Because I'm assuming they're going to do a Modern Warfare 3 remake. Well, you know. They might, yeah. I mean, they've already done the first two, so I don't know why they wouldn't. Right. I think you'll be very impressed. Like, maybe not as far as, like, the mechanics go, but you'll be very impressed, like, how, like, exciting and fun campaigns were in those games. Oh, I mean, I don't doubt it because I loved the Ghost campaign, even though looking back at it, I probably wouldn't like it as much now. And I also loved the Cold War one, and those are the only two campaigns I've played for Call of Duty. So I want to go back and play all of them eventually. Maybe do like a review on them yeah. or something. Yeah, that'd be cool. But yeah, I think um, as far as you know, best campaigns of all time, or between Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 1, I'd say those are the big two. Hard to say which game is better. I like them both equally. And I think same with the multiplayer experiences. Like there's actually a lot of stuff in Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer that was very broken but that almost made it kind of fun at the same time the lobbies used to be like very toxic like they were almost more toxic than they are now honestly i really wish that people would just always have their mic on and just be super toxic all the time that's my favorite part about call of duty when you're in a search and destroy match and people are just freaking screaming <laughs> in the mic just spam saying like random shit it's just so funny i'm hoping you know we get that experience too i bet if this game is really good we're gonna see a really good player count though just more opportunity for that stuff. You know, since we're stuck with SBMM, I'd say probably just hopefully better lobbies overall. Like hopefully they kind of overhaul that system yeah. where people can't abuse it like they did in this game. One thing that I want is I wish they would just keep the playlists. Like, uh, oh, yeah. like you know how they, they keep getting rid of the snipers only and they bring in the knife only? Like they should just allow that to be a part of it. And they should also let you put all of those into the quick play thing, have it in your rotation. I feel like that would be cool. Yeah, well, here's the thing. Like there was, I know back in Black Ops, one specifically they had like this whole money system so instead of just leveling up your gun like all the levels and stuff you would actually complete like challenges and other stuff to earn money to buy attachments and all this other stuff which was cool because they had a whole separate section called wager match so they had like these kind of like party modes that you would kind of just wager a certain amount of money on it and then you could like earn a lot more if you win like it was just really fun so i think what they should do in this game i'm not saying bring back the money system but they should have a separate playlist that is like party games 
for just like kind of like fun modes like knives only and stuff like that that are permanent and everyone can just play them at all times yeah but also i know you played the you know in vanguard when it when the beta was out you know how they had that one mode the champion's hill or whatever did you like that mode oh wasn't it like king of the hill or was it different Oh, wait. Oh, no, no. I remember what it was. It yeah, it was, was like, like the tournament style one where every time you die, you lose a life and whoever's left at the yeah. end wins. That wasn't bad, honestly. You think they You think just they the might carry so it over? Bad. Yeah, the game was just bad. I feel like I maybe they... it could be better if maybe it's in like, you know, Modern Warfare 2. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they carried it over. I wouldn't. I honestly wouldn't mind. Then I'd get the like true experience of the game. Yeah. Because there, what 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 point would it make to just have that mode in one game? I do want to see you know certain things like that come back and stuff like that, but I I also don't want to see like too much of just what do you call it like fan service stuff like just keep bringing like recycling the same stuff. I want them to actually bring new ideas and especially new guns. Well, like, yeah. I hate. In between every game, you see nothing but the AK, M4, like you see a lot of the same guns every single Call of Duty, which, you know, there's a couple of those guns where it's like, you can't not have them because they're so iconic and used throughout the world, like in different militaries and stuff, but we should see more representation of guns like through different militaries like i've never seen the sg 553 that's a gun that the swiss army that's like their staple weapon so it's like kind of fill in the cracks of like diff the different countries like like different militaries like, yeah i hope the majority of the camos are actually decent and they also cover oh, yeah. the entire gun unlike some of the guns <laughs> in cold war yeah that's that's something i hope too this is a shooter game so like the guns are one of the most important things especially because it's first yeah. person so you can't even see your skin oh yeah yeah like you can't so see like, your character yeah, that, that's a good point i think that operators don't matter as much i would rather them put much more effort into the guns even though operators are cool yeah uh, like my attack on price. titan one <laughs> i'm not gonna lie though i wish that you could just use any operator from any of the call of duties in all the games like at least the you know like warzone cold war modern warfare like the newer ones, Vanguard. I feel like that'd be cool, but oh, they would yeah. never do that. Yeah, I don't. I don't know see why they couldn't how... though. They already set. They already have it set up in Warzone. I don't think that they're unable. I think that it's just another way to make money. So. <laughs> but at the same time, more people would probably be willing to buy like aesthetic stuff if they knew it would carry over. Because a lot of people probably don't buy it just because it won't carry over you unless know, they're playing Warzone true. too. Yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't that that would give them a lot more incentive to like buy more of the content that is already still in this game do you think that warzone 2 is going to be that much different than warzone you know overwatch they did like a overwatch 2 and it was basically the same exact game yeah you know what i think that it's not going to be a ton different but there's definitely going to be new content going to be a new map all this other stuff but well because i just don't see a point in doing it i guess kind of revving up the popularity a little bit but at the same time if it's the same game and they're seeing everyone say it's basically the same game then it's kind of pointless that's why i'm actually surprised a lot of the polls i've seen online everyone is the most excited about warzone 2. i'm surprised that like all these people aren't getting tired playing battle royale after battle royale and they're like still wanting more yeah i know one cool thing from rainbow six siege that i know they'll probably never add to call of duty but i think they should i know you can lean on the walls but it'd be cool if you could just lean like whenever oh yeah maybe leaning versus mounting which i think mounting is just gonna come back i mean i don't mind being stay, able to mount but... too mounting is cool but like you should be able to just do it while you're standing too because i mean if in, in real life you'd be able to do that also as far as like leaning and mounting there should be a way to go from being abs while you're mounting to being almost hip firing so because you know like there's oh. sometimes where people instead of just like peeking your head out to shoot kind of blind fire to the side like yeah. you kind of just put your gun out over the side so it should be like it should be really inaccurate obviously but i think it should be a thing to like where you start like if you start to get shot at you can still kind of lean back and pop some shots off but i think that'd just be really confusing i feel like people would abuse opinion. it i feel like they'd like learn how to get super good at it and just abuse that and it'd just be so bad <laughs> it no yeah but like theoretically if they made it to where you pretty much have like no control of your gun while it like you're firing while doing that so they have to, to be super down. close yeah the only way to really good kill from that is like if, like someone tried to rush you around the corner it'd still be bad like it would almost make the pace of play a little slower in just standard um multiplayer but if it was like like i said kind of in relation to the dmz mode that would kind of just make the overall experience a little immersive but i just think that it'd be a little complicated to pull off yeah i wish there were no doors but there probably will be in modern warfare too this is what i heard yeah i heard doors 
are returning, but here's what gives me a little hope. There's doors in Vanguard, right? But guess what? You're able to destroy them. Oh, yeah. So, I think if you just put that in Modern Warfare 2, you know, great. <laughs> like, you can hide behind a door for a couple seconds, but, like, do it too much, and people, you know, catch on and they're shooting it, they can just blow up the doors, and now they're gone, you know? I didn't even notice that, actually. But I hope there's not, like, all the, all the destructible walls and stuff like Vanguard, though, because that was, that, like, it was cool at first, but I feel like that's the thing that got the most annoying, was just getting shot through a freaking wall. I feel like it's cool for certain stuff, but other stuff it's not. There just has to be a balance if it's going to be there, basically. Yeah, I only want to see it in modes that are like ground war or possibly war zone. Like, oh, destructible it. walls in war zone? Like, Im imagine. Imagine that. Dude. I feel like that's the perfect place for it, though, because a battle royale is supposed to be like more like realistic ish why don't you like Hyler? i i already know that they're probably still gonna keep all those perks in but i just wish that Hyler was gone because it just kind of serves as a crutch for people who are running around hey i i know that there's people who camp and it's kind of a counter to camping and all but if you make good maps where people just can't camp around all the time then there's no need for high alert because it's just irritating to like people who just want to play a little bit more stealthy, not camping, just more stealth. You go to uh, aim at them and shoot at them. And this is how high alert works. It's not just activated when you aim at them. It's even when you're looking at them without being aimed down sights, it's automatically activated. So it completely negates the advantage that you get by playing more stealthily. Well, then couldn't they, so they just, just update it to where it only activates when someone's aiming down sights at you? Because also, high alert can mess you up at the same time. Because if there's one person on this side, one person on this side, you'll see two different things. You won't know where to go. Well, I mean, it's true, but then you'll all, if you're able to slip out because you're good at moving, which I mean, yeah, if you're good at moving, you're good at moving, so props to you. But if you're able to get out temporarily, you know where both of them are now and have a chance. That's a good idea, Archie. Maybe they should just slightly nerf it. But also, I guess if I'm saying that, there should be more of a um, counter to people who are stuck. I guess that's what Tracker is. There's got to be a way to kind of balance it between stealth camping and running. They're actually adding like a dive, like you're able to dive into the water. But can you dive like even when you're not near the water though? Like Yeah, just, yeah, oh. but I'm saying like imagine like you're in a building and you're like trying to run away and then you just like <laughs> dive off like the balcony into a pool or something. <laughs> yeah, like or like on. there's an explosion going off and you just dive to get away from it. That that could be useful. Didn't you say that you wanted them to start letting you pick what map you want before the oh, game cuz they didn't they didn't do that in Modern Warfare. That's right. Yep, I it just picks for think you. that they should just bring that into Modern Warfare. So yeah, can, they like, do it in Cold War. Cold they already have the mechanic they already know how it works because Treyarch does it, so I don't know why they can't do it yeah, too. It's, it's been like that since World at War, I want to say. And yeah. I think they even did it in Vanguard. I can't remember because I haven't played it in a long Probably. time because it's bad. I agree. I think it's the worst Call of Duty of all time. I also here. think they should go back to how it is in Modern Warfare with the kills, like the kill death rate instead of the elimination death rate because I'd rather see my KD than my ED because then I can actually know if I'm improving because if I'm just getting eliminations... That's not me actually getting the kill by myself, like other people are getting assists, right? That's what an elimination is. Yeah, exactly. I 100% agree. But also at the same time, skill-based matchmaking just kind of makes that confusing, I think, because the better you get, the harder people you face, which is kind of going to cap off KD at a more even amount. But yeah, I don't know. I just, it's like... I'm excited. I'm excited too, but let us know down in the comments below what you want to see in Modern Warfare 2 and also what you thought about the discussion. If you want to see more content like this in the future, well then subscribe. And uh, if you're a bot, get out of my game before I have to quickscope you.